Well, Fox News chief White House correspondent Ed Henry got national attention this week when he challenged the Obama administration on its response to the CIA report, in particular the White House, as he confronted them on two key points. Ed joins us now from the White House to explain. Ed? Megan, good to see you. The president's been facing real pressure from the left this week about this Senate report, particularly Democratic Senator Mark Udall calling for the resignation of John Brennan, the CIA director, other top officials at that agency, basically charging that, look, the president called these tactics from the Bush administration un-American and yet has put in place former Bush officials like John Brennan actually promoted him, uh, even though he didn't do anything uh, back years ago to stop these tactics. And in fact, John Brennan said this week he believes these tactics, contrary to what the president is saying, brought in good intelligence. Then you have the fact that Josh Ernest repeatedly said this week that the reason the president banned these interrogation tactics was to restore America's moral authority. Well, I pressed him on the contradiction of that statement with the president's policy on drones. Listen. We've seen many cases around the world where U.S. drones have killed innocent civilians, despite those safeguards. Well, and so I'm how do you is, have moral authority? What I'm saying is that is a stark difference than the uh, tactics that are employed by our enemies, uh, who seek to Absolutely. use car, bo car bombs to actually target you innocent civilians. Innocent civilians. No one's defending the terrorist tactics. Okay. But by your but tactics, you're asking about our moral authority, and I think there is a very you have clear moral difference. authority. There's a very civilians. clear difference. There's a very clear difference. Uh, between the tactics that are used by terrorists uh, and the counterterrorism tactics that are employed uh, by the United States of America that go to great lengths uh, to protect the lives of innocent civilians. And the president may face more heat from the left at the upcoming confirmation hearings of Loretta Lynch, who's been nominated to replace Eric Holder as attorney general. The American Civil Liberties Union tells me uh, that they want to know why the president and his Justice Department have not pressed criminal charges against former current CIA officials, former Bush officials who were involved in these tactics, basically saying they think the president's had it both ways. If he believes these tactics were wrong, they should prosecute actual crimes, Megan. Ed Henry, thank you. Joining me now, Alan Combs, host of the Alan Combs Radio Show. Alan, what about that? Hypocrisy by the Obama administration? To some extent, to employ absolutely. These? We have drones that we've actually well, let's used. Let's just start. I'm going to get to the yeah, drones one sure. But what about the employing of, you know, Comey and Brennan? I mean, they head up the FBI and the CIA. These are pretty important positions. Not only that, I mean, Obama kept on the, de the, the whole uh, defense security apparatus of the Bush administration, including the head of the defense secretary at the so beginning of the administration. come so, out now I mean, and condemn them. Right. I don't think that's appropriate. I really think, uh, you, you know, and do I even know that torture is still not taking place. I know the president has condemned what's in the report, condemns the idea that we torture, but how do we know we're still not rendering two black sites? I hope we're not. No, I, I mean, want to be sure that, that we're program, not. He that program, so he should well, have some, have. he should know more than we know about whether it's going on. But, you know, what? why would he come out and say they shouldn't have done this and so on and so forth and, and the Democrats so so in up in arms about this when these two guys have been given powerful posts in this in well, this administration. Saying, he's certainly is playing to his his base, his constituency, there and is. to the left. There it That's is, why right? he's doing it. Clearly, it's a political move because he wants to be assuring the people who are his base that this isn't happening and he doesn't support it. Let's talk about the drones because that's the other thing he right. got hit on is you know even if you feel as as Diane Feinstein and everybody else does uh, in this report right. that torture that this was torture and that torture right. is terrible and should never be used and isn't effective, isn't it better than dying? I mean, then being uh, killed by a drone? Is a pretty the extreme result of torture. I mean, people have died as a result. We it's found out torturous to be drone striked, that, too. Uh, when we also use drones to go after American citizens anywhere in the world, and we have the authority to say the whole world is a war theater, and we can target anybody who we feel mm -hmm. is a threat, even if they're American citizens, without a trial, how, that's how wrong, too. How do you too. even, like, I mean, Josh Ernest was on his heels there, because yeah. you can't really split hairs like that and say yes. that it's better to kill them than to waterboard them or, or hold them with their arms above right, their heads. I'd rather so be dead than have to go through some kind of torture. Some, you not know, me. You're go through not that, me. Not me. I'd it, rather live. You're going to survive and who knows what kind of condition, you know. And living is certainly the preference. No question yes. about it. Yes. So, but, I mean, look, they're, they, they're, they're caught in this. I mean, they're caught in an, in an impossible place because they haven't been ideologically well, consistent. Well, the impossible place is where the CIA is. Of course they're going to lie. They're not going to tell the truth. And I know the CIA The CIA is in favor of all of this, I Of course I, they're in I favor assume. of all this. But that's ideologically consistent. Well, of course, if we're, for them, but the fact that they support torture, the fact that they, by the way, they've not negated anything in the report. Clearly, they're defending No, they themselves, have. Oh, yes, they have. But they've not, basically not said we did not do any of this stuff. They, they they've have. Said, they've said, well, they've, they've chosen a few things and tried to they've used very careful perspective. language. But about they've it. also said their main defense is we did it and they knew about it. We briefed we them. Knew about not most only of did it. they say it was okay, they said you're too risk averse, you should be doing more. We, and now these Democrats are like, 
What? It wasn't me. Well, we also I, heard the I don't remember that. Up, we had to get up and lie to Congress. As Mark Udall, you just showed in that clip, has shown that, you know, they've lied to Congress. They've lied. Some would say under oath. Udall thinks they should be prosecuted for that. Udall I actually wanted the names of the CIA operatives revealed. And when right. the security concerns about these poor men and women who are just trying to defend us, it must be said, were raised, he said, well, they can get a bodyguard. Oh, well, thanks a lot, no, Senator. They shouldn't Great. reveal the names as they did. Even look, they reveal a valid claim. But I mean, that just shows you his bias, where he is on this. He's well, on the crazy far, far I say lunatic he's a crazy fringe. Crazy far left. I think that he actually has it right that we these people did not tell Congress the truth. It's good to have the light of day shine. The on people that. who could engage in these tactics were trying to keep us safe. Why on earth would he want we're to do not, something? And, we were, and they went to the DOJ and got a blessing, and they briefed Congress on it. And so anything that wasn't disclosed was in addition to that. What, but for that, he wants them prosecuted. He wants them outed. He wants their lives potentially. I, it is wrong, danger. but we shouldn't look. But they didn't keep us safe because of torture. We found out that torture didn't work. You develop a rapport okay, with your subject. You don't torture so, them. That's 2020. Well, they said they weren't prepared for this kind of interrogation. It's in the so. First don't, place. don't you feel a little uncomfortable judging them so harshly when these are people who are trying to keep us safe? They, no. Even the New York Times was writing about how there was a fear that there might be a nuclear bomb set off in the United States. They didn't know how much time they had. We don't compromise had. our values for the sake of anything. Those who, as was it Benjamin Franklin said, compromise uh, security for safety deserve. You know what? He lived before the the dawn of the. Dirty bomb but the he's wrote the Constitution, and they were very smart. Our forefathers were very smart knowing what they talked mm -hmm. about. Mm -hmm. So now you're an originalist. That's interesting. Uh, I always we'll support talk about the Constitution. That the next time we go back Please to have me back, and I'll talk Wade. about that. All right, Alan, good to see you. <laughs> Thank you.